Boyd King. I'm an instructor at OSUIT in the air conditioning department. And this is electrical controls and introduction to electrical principles. Uh, and in this episode, I'm gonna talk about uh, the three major aspects of electricity. Uh, I call it my redneck electrical theory. I like making things uh, as down to earth as I can. And electricity is one of those things that a lot of people have trouble understanding because it's invisible. You can't see it, you can't touch it, you, you can feel it, you don't want to feel it, but you can feel it. And so uh, through years of, of teaching, I've come up with this. It works really well for a lot of people, and some people still struggle with it. But the main major principle here is for you to leave this exercise at, or video understanding what E, I, and R fully represent and how they affect an electrical circuit. So uh, E stands for electromotive force. We call it EMF. And I'm going to explain what it actually does. E is electromotive force. I stands for intensity. Uh, it's the amount of actual work, uh, movement of electrons that's taking place. We'll see that. And resistance, R. Uh, that's the resistance to electron movement. And, and that sounds pretty big, pretty uh, in-depth, but looking at it like this, it, it should help you. So what I've drawn here is basically a piece of pipe uh, that, that everybody's familiar with, piece of oil field pipe or something like that. And what we've done is we've taken a slab, sledgehammer and we've dented it, okay? And uh, we've filled that piece of pipe with BBs. What I mean by BBs is, if you ever shot a BB gun, it's a little bitty ball of steel and we have filled this little piece of pipe with as many BBs as it can hold. So full that if we try to push one BB in here, one BB is gonna pop out over there. Completely full of BBs. Now, voltage E equals voltage. So when you hear me talk about voltage, I'm talking about E electromotive force. What voltage is, is in the redneck theory, it's the amount of pressure that's being forced on these BBs, okay? Now, uh, if we have an electrical circuit that we're used to plugging things into, we have two ends, a positive and a negative, or a hot and a neutral. Between those two, we have two potential uh, hydraulic cylinders that are ready to push on electrons or BBs. So the force pushing on the BBs is the voltage. And we can see, hey, if you want to split some wood, you want a hydraulic cylinder with a whole lot of pressure. The higher the voltage, the more force or the more potential that you have to move electrons or move the BBs. So voltage is electromotive force, and a way to think of it is a hydraulic cylinder pushing on the BBs. Second thing that I want to bring to your attention here is uh, the, the actual, if we do apply pressure to the BBs, we're going to cause BBs to move opposite of direction of the pressure, okay? And if we were to cut a window in the middle of our pipe and look in there, what we're going to see is BBs moving through the pipe. If we were to count those BBs, we would actually be doing a test called checking the amp draw uh, of that electrical circuit. So the BB movement, BB movement is your amperage. The more BBs that you have moving, the more amperage that you have. The third aspect of electricity that we're going to look at is resistance. The resistance is the dent that I, I dented into the pipe with the sledgehammer. So of course if I have a big dent in the pipe, that's going to restrict the BB movement and limit the amount of BBs that could move to it, through it. So uh, the three aspects, voltage the pressure, Amperage, the amount of BBs that's actually going through the pipe or actually through the restriction, 
and three is the restriction. Now, in this redneck theory, quickly, I want, I want to show you how this applies to a simple circuit. Okay, a simple circuit is having a source, that's where the electricity is coming from, having a path for the electrons to flow, or after learning this lesson, a path for the BBs to move, and then in that path, having some resistance, which we call a load. So three things make up a simple circuit. A source, a path, and a load. In this redneck theory here, the source is the hydraulic cylinder. That's the pressure. The path is going to be our pipe, which you could call a wire. And the load is going to be the dent in the pipe, the restriction to BB movement. I hope that helps you. you my email is boyd.king at okstate.edu. If you have any more questions about this, email me. Come in and see me, and I will help you as much as I can. Thank you.